everybody. Um, seeing if there's anyone coming on. Waiting. Hope that noise out there isn't too loud for you guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Any joiners? Oh, hello, Janelle. So, I just um, thought I'd do a update real quick. Um, I shaved my head. Well, my mom shaved my head down to the, obviously down to the skin. Hola! <laughs> uh, because last night, um, the little bit of hair that I did have started to fall out. Um, like, uh, my eyebrows are actually starting to fall out too, but I'm trying not to touch those. I mean, they're tattooed on, so you probably really wouldn't be able to tell, but no, no, I'm not touching those. Um, but anyway, so my hair started to fall out. Um, I thought that by shaving my head... Um, just with a buzzer, not with a razor, but I thought by shaving my head, it would kind of prepare me for losing my hair. And, um, there's no preparation for that. Um, even though my hair is only like an inch long, um, there's no preparation for that. When you see hair coming out onto your hand or, you know, I would just go like this and I would have several several pieces it was uh, it sucked and of course I broke down you know and I cried and but I got shaved and I'm very happy with it um, Brian said that I can wear bright lip colors now because I'm making a it's a bold bold statement so um, speaking of lip colors what do you think it is called Kiss for a Cause and it's by Lipsense and I gotta tell ya when I first put it on I was a little unsure about it but I think this is absolutely beautiful and then when you seal it with the gloss what? like way better so I'm loving this. Loving this. So I definitely, definitely recommend lip scents to anyone. And I, let me just say, I'm not, I don't sell lip scents. Like, I have never tried it before. This is the first time I've ever tried it. And I am in love with this. This will be my go-to. So if you're interested in it, let me know. And I have someone that I'll hook you up with. Um, anyway... So, yeah, so this is all new. Um, I'm going to try to not wear a hat or anything because my head is so white. But, um, but yeah, so my next treatment is on Monday. Um, I was supposed to do it this past Friday, but because it was so busy with the holidays, I had to wait um, and do it on Monday. So this upcoming Monday... At I think 8.30 will be my next treatment. And um, I'm scared. Not, I don't know if I should use the word scared. I'm just nervous because I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to be worse than the first one. If it's going to be easier. I just don't know what to expect. Um, I'm trying to drink a ton, a ton, a ton of water. Because... The doctor told me if you stay extremely hydrated, it should um, lessen the side effects. So I'm really hoping that <laughs> I'm really hoping that works. I've been taking my meds, um, like well, not this past week because I haven't needed to, but um, you know that first week when I was feeling so nauseous and um, 
you know, just sick. I was taking my meds around the clock like clockwork, but they just weren't really that good. So I did get some um, something new, so I'm hoping that that will work. Um, so we'll see. Um, we'll see. I'm just happy that I am having my treatment on Monday. That way, if I do feel like crap, then I can feel like crap during the week when my son, you know, when Bruce is in school. Because I don't want to feel, I don't want to feel crappy when he's here. But, um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, nothing too new. So I'll get that done on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I'll go in and get, um, my new Lasta shot. Um, I'm still kind of nervous about that too, because it's supposed to cause bone pain. So, so far I haven't experienced any, um... I hope that I don't, but I don't know. I just have so many, so many things that I'm worried and nervous about, but then so many things that I'm just okay with. Like, this was heartbreaking at first, and now I'm completely fine. Like, kind of like it. It's very low maintenance. (laughs) But, um, so yeah, so the boys are out fishing, and I figured I would sit here and do this little video. I didn't really have a plan of anything to talk about. Just thought I'd share my new look. And, um, you know, for people who are going through this or um, know someone who's going through this, just, you know, share my video. I, I try to stay as positive as I can and uplift whoever I can. That's the most important thing is to stay positive. I mean, don't get me wrong, I ugly cry, ugly cry in the shower sometimes, <laughs> but it, it's okay to cry because you gotta let that out. And after you cry, you feel so much better. Um, and I get, uh, I was telling Brian, you know, when I go out bald, like out in public, when I go out bald, people are looking at me like, okay, like that's different. And then when I wear a hat or a beanie or you know, my little turban thingy, when I wear that, people are like, oh, it's a sick girl, and it's like, (laughs) it's so silly, I don't know, it's, (laughs) I don't know, it's it's kind of awkward, but we, I'm getting used to it, um, but yeah, so, that's, that's pretty much it, um, I don't really have anything new, um, new to discuss, uh, Thank you, Janelle. (laughs) Thank you. So, um, oh, hi, Mike. (laughs) Um, trying to think of if I'm, if I'm missing anything. Oh, so someone said, (laughs) thank you. (laughs) Um, someone said that I should, um, do henna on my head. I don't know. I don't know if I should do henna. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Tiffany. I don't... I was thinking about it. I kind of think it would be cool, but then I'm kind of like, again, that nervous thing. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If I should do some henna. And if you... Is that hair? Did I miss a spot? Did my mom... No, that's a freckle on my ear. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Thanks, Mike. (laughs) Um, You know what I should do? Oh, cr- too bad Halloween just passed. I should totally be a cone head. <laughs> Man, no henna, no henna. Okay, no henna. <laughs> yes, do it and have a photo shoot. <laughs> All right, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I don't know how I would feel about the henna. I don't know. So. Um, I do want to do a photo shoot, though, Tiffany. I do want to do a photo shoot, um, like a like a breast cancer awareness photo shoot, you know, with my head and all that stuff. <laughs> so, but, um, thank you, Mike. Yes, Mandy, I didn't know you did that. Send me pictures. Spray paint. <laughs> You could, like, take take one of those cardboard cutouts with the circle in it and put it on top of my head and spray paint it black. <laughs> oh, gosh. That would be too much. So. I think... 
<laughs> I think henna lasts. Well, you know, I had a henna tattoo when I was like, like 17. I got a henna tattoo on a cruise and it lasted for about two weeks, I think. So, and it was small, so I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know because, yeah, I just don't know. But, um, I don't know. It'd be fun to do, but we'll see. We'll see. How about a shoot that's the same as the ones you did right before? That's a good idea, too. Yes. Well, you guys send me ideas. Obviously, I'm open to pretty much anything. Um, I'm just trying to have as much fun with this as I can. Um... You know, I'm not gonna, I'd rather laugh than cry. <laughs> yeah, but, um, so anyway, oh, so let me show you. I, um, got a pencil, this is totally off topic, totally not about me or anything like that, but I got a, um, pencil Christmas tree yesterday, and... <laughs> Chanel, that's pretty funny. That's true, though. I could totally do that. Um, but I got a pencil Christmas tree last night, and I put it together. And I got a pencil tree because the way my house is set up, I have a big, giant um, sectional. I just didn't really have a place to put a regular size Christmas tree. So hold on. Let me flip this thing around. And let me know what you guys think of this tree. It's so skinny. Ah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Having some technical difficulties here. Hold on. Okay, hang on, here we go. You see anything? Oh, <laughs> sorry, my finger was over it. <laughs> Look, see how thin it is? What do you guys think? Do you like that? Yeah. I'm not trying to decorate, I'm trying to get in the. Flipping around. Trying to get in the Christmas spirit. I love Christmas. It didn't last long. Take pics when it's dark. Let me know if you want to try that. Awesome. Thank you, Anne. Aw. <laughs> I know. I wish, um, Tiffany, I wish that with um, videoing like this, you could almost, like, comment with... I don't know how to explain it. Like, you could take a snapshot of the walk, the viewer's reaction to me. You know, th you know what I'm saying? That would be really cool. Um, Jen, I have yelled at him a couple times not to touch it. I just tell him the tree is going to fall on top of him if he touches it. <laughs> so... <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I don't know if you would be okay with telling your kids that, but I just tell Bruce um, that the tree, if he touches it, it will fall on top of him. And then I had him watch a video of um, of um, Krampus or whatever it's called, Krampus, yeah, um, and told him that Krampus takes away little boys who don't listen, so he needs to listen. <laughs> um, it's worked out pretty good, so <laughs> hopefully he listens for the rest of the day. Um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, that would be too much. So, but anyway, so that's my update. Uh, bald head, treatment Monday, mm, white blood cell shot on Tuesday. Contact me about the lip sense. Also, one more thing, I have been, there are two people that I need to do shout outs to. So I have been dying for this um, 31 bag. Uh, if you don't know what 31 is, it's, um, it's like 31 spelled out and it's bags, accessories, pillows, um, all sorts of stuff. It's really, really cool. And it's nice, and you can get it all personalized or embroidered, you know, with embroidery. And I got one a couple years ago from my mother-in-law, and I love it. I put all of my um, planning stuff in it. It's I have used it every single day. So anyway, um, my friend Caitlin 
started, she's a Cincy, or, um, well, she is Cincy, but she's also a 31 consultant, and, um, she, I was looking through her website, and there's this bag, and I want it so bad, so, anyway, today she came to pick up some stuff, and she got me the bag, her and Brittany, hold on, I'm propping this up so you, I can show it to you, because I'm so in love with this bag, this bag is absolutely perfect, these pockets, and look, you can wear it the other way, you know, over your shoulder instead of just a short. It is so cute. And then it's got zippers and pockets on the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no. Okay, I'm sorry. You don't wear it over your shoulder. This is for your, like your keys or something. But loving this bag so much. And then, oh, I'll just show you guys everything. Because it was so nice. It totally made my day. I'm so spoiled. They got me this. And then they got me this cute shirt, which I love because I love the baseball tee style. And these really cute earrings, which I need to put on. In this shirt it says power through on it and then of course the lip scent stuff so definitely made my morning thanks guys you guys are the best so anyway all right I'm done I'm just babbling now so thanks for watching please continue with the prayers and the sharing my videos and updates it's you know I really appreciate it and I either myself or my husband Brian will be doing the update after um, my next chemo so it all depends on on how I'm feeling I'm gonna try and do it but if it's anything like last time I just can't so but thanks for watching <laughs> thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon bye